Mr. Secretary, uh, welcome. It's um, good to see you. Uh, on behalf of uh, most of us, I, I think, in this body, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, you've taken on uh, one of the toughest jobs of anybody in the government of our uh, country. I, um, I'm a big believer in bipartisan solutions. My colleagues have heard me say it over and over again. Bipartisan solutions are lasting solutions. I believe that is, is true. And I'm, I'm not interested in having talking points or getting on television. I just want to solve problems. And uh, this is one of the problems that uh, I, I'm going to not run for re-election, as you may know, uh, this uh, this year. And uh, uh, on January 3rd, 2025, uh, I will be uh, a free man. Uh, not a free man in Paris, but a free man in Delaware. And uh, I hope that uh, that we have dealt with the, uh, the these issues in a constructive way that will actually uh, work. The um, I, I just want to say, while, while uh, Senator Langford is here, just my heartfelt thanks to uh, to him, to uh, Senator Cinema, uh, 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 and also to Senator uh, uh, Chris M Murphy. They spent literally uh, not days but uh, but weeks, uh, maybe even longer, uh, working with the administration and particularly with you to try to find a, a bipartisan solution that could uh, or a series of bipartisan solutions would help us address this uh, these issues. One of the, this, this is a shared responsibility. It's not all on the secretary of, uh, of this uh, department or even the people who work in this department. It's a shared responsibility. It's a shared responsibility between the executive branch and the legislative branch. I've been privileged to serve on this committee since it was first created, to lead this committee. And uh, when we're at our best, we work together. We work across party lines, and we need to do that in this case as, as, as well. I, let me just ask if, if I can, uh, Mr. Secretary, to think back on the last uh, several weeks, months, as you worked uh, in concert with uh, the three of my uh, colleagues that, that I've mentioned, three of our colleagues whose names I've mentioned, what are some of the, uh, as we turn the page uh, and say, well, let's, let's actually try to solve this problem, address this issue, and then resolve it, uh, what are some uh, key lessons that should emerge for us from those negotiations? Senator Carper, the, um, the Senate negotiated bipartisan legislation would have been transformative. It would have been transformative in two primary regards. One is the provision of resources to the Department of Homeland Security and the other departments and agencies in the federal government that administer immigration law. It's not just um, additional uh, Border Patrol agents and Office of Field Operations officers within U.S. Customs and Border Protection, but it's over 4,000 asylum officers, more immigration uh, judges, as, as an example. In addition, and very importantly, it would have changed the system, the broken system, dramatically. One of the greatest infirmities of our current system is that it takes multiple years between the time of encounter and a fi final adjudication of an asylum case. This, the Senate negotiated bipartisan legislation would have taken that multi-year process that draws people to the United States and would it, it would have shrunk it to sometimes less than 90 days in duration. And that changes dramatically the risk calculation of intending migrants. It would have empowered us to use expedited removal, a speedier yet fair process for individuals not just in immigration detention, but for those outside of it as well. A transformative piece <laughs> of legislation that was extremely tough yet fair. Let me just uh, thank you for that. Uh, uh, most of us uh, go home uh, uh, at the end of the legislative week, uh, wherever we're from. I go home almost every night and uh, come back the, the next day that we're in, we're in session. I've been doing this for, gosh, 23 years. And I feel lucky to, to be that closely tied to my, my state. Um, one of the things I do, my, my suspe I suspect our colleagues do as well, the days that we're not in session, I'm all over Delaware. We have three, only three counties. We have a million people, and I, we have a, a county day for each county uh, during the week. And I visit businesses, large and small. Uh, I visit uh, schools, medical facilities, and so forth. But I, uh, one of the questions I ask at uh, at these uh, at these visits, I call them customer calls. I ask, um, uh, how are you doing? I ask, how are we doing in Congress, and what can we do to help? And uh, m 
more and more I hear uh, a constant to refrain. Uh, businesses, and large and small, and other employers say, we just need somebody to come to work. That's, that's what we need. And uh, I would say, uh, in terms of a shared responsibility, uh, if we're really serious about helping to meet the workforce needs of, uh, of, of uh, employers, large and small, in our different states and communities, one of the things we could do is to pa pass uh, uh, bipartisan legislation uh, dealing with uh, 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 with workforce and uh, and with immigration, that would help us uh, in a legal way provide a, a path, a legal path for people to come and stay here for a while, not necessarily become citizens, but come here and work, and then meet the, the needs that I hear here every week from uh, from our employers. One uh, quick question, and I'll pass it uh, to our next uh, colleague. But uh, can you just uh, take a, a minute to please speak to the importance of not only funding the DHS uh, budget request, but passing a bipartisan border deal so that the department can be promptly, properly resourced to carry out its border security missions? Could you please? Uh, with respect to the bipartisan um, the importance of not only funding the, 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 the budget request, but passing a bipartisan border deal. Um, as, uh, Senator, as I articulated uh, before, um, it would um, add significantly, uh, significant resources to our department that are significantly needed, not just at the border, uh, but in the asylum process so that we can adjudicate those cases more rapidly and remove individuals who do not qualify for relief within a short, shorter period of time. And that is a dr has a dramatic impact on flows to the border. Good, thanks. Uh, and the last thing I would say before I turn it over to Senator Johnson is uh, just a heartfelt thank you to your family. I can't imagine what it's been like for them to go through this, uh, the, literally the last five, six years, but thank you to all of them. With that, uh, let me turn it over to Senator Johnson. Senator Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman Emeritus. Uh, Ms. 